the Anti-Corruption and Integrity Group has suspended its chairman, Prince K. Pakporgri over allegations of bothering on abuse of office. In his place, Ambassador Chris Onwum has been appointed to become an interim chairman. Addressing Newsman Wednesday in Abuja, newly appointed chairman of the forum, Ambassador Onwum, said it was unfortunate that the group's image and integrity is being put to test and hence the resolve to redeem it. The forum accused K. Pakporgri of abusing his office when he wrote a letter to the chairman of ATO Oils and Gas, Chief Benedict Peters, in what appeared to be a deliberate attempt to intimidate the chairman and make him vulnerable to extortion. Ambassador Onwum said the group, in its avowed pledge to support the fight against corruption does not engage individuals, saying the Anti-Corruption and Integrity Forum is a non-governmental anti-corruption crusader incorporated with the primary goal of ensuring good governance and creating a corrupt-free Nigeria and hence had decided to expel K. Pakporgri from the group. Of particular note is the petition dated 28th November, 2017 purportedly written on behalf of our association by Mr. K. Pakpagri to 1 Mr. Benedict Peters alleging certain crimes against Mr. Peters including his being a fugitive. It was in the process of Mr. Peters reaching out to the office to insist he would not succumb to the blackmail from our organization that we got to know. It was shocking more shocking is that Mr. K. Pagri used an unknown fellow to co-sign the letter as the secretary instead of his wife whom he foisted on us illegally during the registration process with the CAC, Onwum stated. He described the letter as one written in bad taste and intentionally scripted to intimidate and harass and obtain money from Mr. Benedict Peters and his companies. Following the report of its three-man committee set up to investigate the matter, the forum said comrade Chris Onwum has been appointed to take over as the new chairman of the forum to give the forum a new direction and restore its integrity pending the formal election of new officers in our next general meeting in July. 2018. It called on the EFCC, the Nigerian Police Force, the DSS and all other relevant security agencies to investigate, arrest and prosecute Mr. Kapirk Pagri and his proxies, saying it had further notified the Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, on its intent to effect leadership change. All efforts to reach Mr. Kapirk Pagri proved abortive as at press time.